Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. In this video, I will explain about Sonar Cube integrated with Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So first we need to understand few Sonar Cube bullet points. Sonar Cube used used for continuous inspection of code quality. Continuous inspection of code quality. See, these points are very, very important. Sonar cube used for continuous inspection of code quality. Second point is static and dynamic code analysis tool. Code analysis tool. Third point to detect to detect bugs. To detect bugs. Code smells. Code smells, security, vulnerabilities, security vulnerabilities, okay. and duplicate code. Fourth point, it it helps to fix to fix issues issues as soon as they appear. They appear. Fifth point. It keeps code clean. It keeps code clean, comma, simple and simple and easy to read. So these are the five very, very important sonar cube bullet points. See, sonar cube used for continuous inspection of code quality, static and dynamic code analysis tool to detect bugs, code smells, security vulnerabilities, and duplicate code. It helps to fix issues as soon as they appear. It keeps code clean, simple, and easy to read. So next is point, download. Download. Sonar. Sonar cube. Sonar cube software. We need to select community edition. We need to select community edition. So, open the Google type Sonar Cube. Sonar Cube. Download. Open post link. This is the Sonar Cube download link. I will provide this link in description as well. This is the link. Seventh point. So, we need to select community edition, right? So, download. This is the community action version edition. So it is a free remaining developer edition, enterprise edition, data center edition. These are the paid version. This is the community edition is free of free to use open source. Click download only. You can say or else if you want to enter, enter your mail ID. So I'm entering my mail ID. Sign up and download. Yes, it is starting the download download process. So meanwhile, create one application. So file new spring starter project. So give the name like test. So I'm giving name like test. You can mention test one two. Test one two. Java version using seventeen packaging jar. So group group name and package name same. Next, Spring Boot version using 3.3.1. So I am selecting verb, verb and long back. I will just add one rest end point only. Long back is optional. If you don't want, you can remove that. Then don't select. So we need to add two plugins. So go to, I will provide this plugin link as well in description. So, yeah, Java code coverage, abbreviation, Java code coverage is like a Java code, Java code coverage. We need to add these two plugins, SonarQ plugin and Java code plugin. Now, this video, Java code plugin is optional. So, we are integrating, integrating Spring Boot application with SonarQ, right? This is mandatory. So, but I will add both two. So, control C. So, Go to form.xml. 
scroll down. The build tag is there right here. So maximize. These are the not required now. We are not eliminating any classes. See if you are Java code coverage for the local, like if you want to check without sonar give, this plugin will be helpful. So if you want to check for code blocks, vulnerabilities, duplicate code, overall code, new code kind of, it will be useful. Sonar plugin is useful. So yeah, add the one end point and change the Java version to 17. We have selected 17, right? So right click. Right click build path, configure build path. So remove this one. Select AR library, JRE system library. So apply close. So next, right click new, create on package and class. So I am giving rest control F test rest controller finish i will just add one method that method will return a and that method will return a string i will add a one end point that end point will return a string so i will provide both class level and method level parts as well so press controller so request mapping Oh, slash e I'm giving public return type string some message return return hello so at get mapping slash about read this is the test kind of this is read so let's run and whereby this application is working or not right click run as java application so if you are getting this kind of error ignore like into market there right so ignore that no problems if that kind of error coming also that kind of symbol is icon kind of it is started no issues so let's verify it is download error or not yes so this is close download this is on our view control x Previously, old version I am installed here. So I am installing now new version. Paste it. So right click, extract here. So I am extracting. 10th version is previously used 9th. Now I am using 10th. Sonar give 10 version 10.6.0 10 something, etc. So this is go to bin, windows, open CMD here. CMD, yes, tab. So we need to run this bad file. So on a bad file. So step. Go to path and run. So on a. So here. So on a start. So on a start. So on a dot bad file. Start. So on a dot bad file bad file for link this is the so this is the seven point this is eight point now run see now now starting the sonar cube see here sonar cube starting to access sonar cube http colon double slash local host nine triple zero so yeah so on our so on our cube default port port number number is nine triple zero nine triple zero you can add the http colon double slash local host colon nine triple zero nine triple zero we can access like so nine point here yeah. HTTP colon localhost 9000. 
where sometime it will be needs to run waiting for elastic search to to be up and running once this is up and running it will be we can able to access on our queue so wait some time see it is now if any pop-ups are coming you can say hello so now replace it So it is, yeah, see here, sonar cube, it is opening now. Sonar cube is starting, wait some time. It will be open one login page. So, next step is, so, your admin, comma, admin, l, default, username, and password username and password so still it is loading while downloading must select the community edition if you are going for the develop and well data center it will not work and some files will be stored in your c drive those files will not be removed so hence you will not able to access another another edition like another version so you must download the community version so wait sometime it will be start the sonar cube. See here it is loading, it will take two to three minutes to open based on your internet speed. So see this is the nine step use admin admin as default username and password. So admin admin login. See here it is saying update the password. So user name. Same as above, but update old password with new one, new, new password. So, old password is admin, mention the new password, same mention the new password, update. So, this is the Sonar cube dashboard. We need to create one token. Your account, my account, my account. After that, go to security. Give the any name like I'm giving. The app name only. Test one two. Use the token. Expire in some days. You can generate. Copy this token. Next, next point. So we need to run one song, one Marvin goal. So Marvin goal, we need to run sonar colon sonar iPhone D sonar dot login equal to token. This we need to run. So control C. First you can paste in tab sonar. Small letter only. Small sonar sonar I find the sonar call and login. Control C. So go to our application. See this test on to our application. Run as Marvin build. Marvin build. Here enter this run. If we will get build success, then it will successfully integrated with sonar too. So see here some sonar sonar folder created. This is the user's username dot sonar is created. So so in target sonar is generated. See it is some process is going on internally. It is loading some matrix profiles, something is going on. So if we will get build success, then this is successfully integrated with sonar cube. So wait some time. Here yeah, build success. So then here yeah, click on sonar cube icon. See our test one two project. So go to code. So 
One R cube, see, test one, two is there. So it is not showing any code, right? So this way to we can integrate with this way to we can integrate our Spring Boot application to Sonar Cube. See, this is now it is appear. So SRC, SRC, rest controller we are developed, right? Test rest controller. This is the code. That means these lines are not called uncovered code. So if you are using developer edition or enterprise edition, then this dashboard look like it will be appears look like like new box, vulnerabilities, code smells, duplicate code, overall code, new code, overall code kind of. So in this video, we are successfully integrated SonarQ with Spring Boot application. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.